It's a story about um, using design thinking, using anthropology, sociology, math, science, history to address problems that uh, a community or, or uh, a group is, is facing. We didn't know that we were going to be doing all this. We just thought it was just going to be like a class that we make little toys or something. I mean, we're making something for the town of Windsor, so we have to make it right and as best as we can. We got involved with Emily because I read her book, uh, Design Revolution, and contacted her and uh, started to talk to her about what her goals and dreams you know, were, and one was to teach in a public school, kind of a new, a newfangled woodshop kind of uh, approach. This idea of taking a new type of uh, curriculum, which is design thinking, and plugging that into a public high school. That was a really exciting idea. Um, and the moment we realized that they were going to get a chance to try it and that we could sit in on this experiment, we knew that that was something that we wanted to be a part of and that we wanted to share with others. Rather than putting an expert's view on the problem and solving it that way, this takes the, the, the views of all the people who are involved and brings them together in that messy way and they build and think and design and rethink and ideate and there's a whole process involved and um, I just was so drawn to it that I thought this was, how, this was a film that you know needed to be made. This is really a story about how to take a school and make it better. How to take kids who may not be doing as well as they could be and really turning them on, really turning on that light bulb in their head. Um, and how to get kids to become dreamers and doers. That's really what our story is about. We're hoping that people get inspired, that our film is just a springboard. It's what we call bridging the gap between inspiration and action, that uh, you're inspired, we hope, by the film, and then you too will take action.